Hey guys, so um, I just want to come on here. Honestly, to just get this, um, I guess, birth vlog started because I actually woke up this morning and I, ooh, I'm having a contraction. I actually woke up this morning and I lost my mucus plug. So basically, last night, well, yesterday, I went on like a 30 minute walk and then I came back and I did like this labor inducing um, workout on YouTube, like a 10 minute workout. And then I woke up and lost my mucus plug. So I'm like very excited because I mean, things are, you know, getting dilated and things are moving. And I've been having contractions. Um, it's almost been an hour since I started having contractions. The average has been five minutes and 36 seconds. So yeah, now I'm just going through the contractions and um, Meek is actually out working and I text my doula to let her know that the contraction started and everything. So we just waiting to see how it goes. This little boy, come here. Look, you wanna say hi to the camera? Come here. Say hi. Hi. Look, look at it, look right there. Say hi. Hi. Hi there. What's your name? Nyan. How old are you? One, you're not five. <laughs> One. Nyan. But yeah, so. Honestly, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm probably just going to like get myself together and like continue to prepare. Like if things progress and if she do decide to come between tonight and tomorrow. So, so I'm actually going to just like do something to my hair. Well, I mean, probably just put it up and point it down, but I might hear the, um, the TV in the background. I had to figure out something to get him to like sit down because this boy been having a lot of energy for the past few days. And I'm like, look, I'm exhausted and tired. I can't keep up. Oh, and I'm having another one. I don't really do too much like with my eyebrows, um, honestly, because I just really just want them darker, so I'm definitely going to get them microbladed. I just use the shape that I already have, and then I just like darken them a little bit, like, I don't know if you could tell, like, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> and then like the makeup girlies that be doing all the extra stuff, because I don't do all the extra stuff, but in the end, it looks right to me. Honestly, I feel like I should have did my hair. Oh shoot, I never stopped it. Like I should put my hair up first before I like started doing my eyebrows. So <laughs> just leave that one like that and put up my hair. I don't know if I want to just put it up in the ponytail. It's dry. <laughs> I washed it the other day, but I didn't even realize how dry it is. All I know is this labor is going to be like smooth, relaxing. It's not going. It's only going to be me. Meek and my doula and it's gonna be an amazing experience because the last time it was like it was a lot going on it was long it was draining and this time around I could already feel the difference so I'm done getting myself together and yeah <laughs> I just put my hair in the ponytail and did my um eyebrows filled them in a little bit Put on some mascara and some lip gloss because one thing about it, we're gonna be cute giving birth this time. Like, I'm just waiting around. Probably gonna go downstairs and make some watermelon juice, get some hydration. But yeah, I'll um, come back to y'all. What's up, partners? So, y'all know what time it is. Finally home. I got back about four o'clock now, it's five. So, she's been actively contracting for three hours now. So, we're doing a last minute setup. Of the of the room uh the lady for the pool is on her way to drop off and uh yeah about to have us a baby girl all right y'all so the contractions are back to back yeah they're moving this is completely different than the first time who oh, is very consistent and it's like every few minutes so yeah it's this is the real thing how does it uh feel now in comparison like does, does the contractions feel like what you remember 
I mean, I feel like the last birth was like a blur for real because it was so long. I honestly don't even remember like how it first started. So, like, so this this feeling right here don't feel familiar. Don't feel the same. I mean, I guess, but but not consistent wise. Cause you remember it lasted three days. So I feel like I was getting these type of consistent contractions probably like the second going into the third day, not even on the first day. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this is this feels like it's like it's move it's progressing quicker than the first time for sure. So she's definitely gonna be here today. Today is uh, the twenty sixth. Did you tell them that this is the day that you had been thinking? No, but okay. So basically, for the, for like the past month and a half, the twenty sixth, like May twenty sixth, just keep popping, like kept popping up in my head, and I'm like, oh, I think she's gonna be here on the twenty sixth. Like it just. I don't know where it came from. Just one day, it was like May 26. Here we are, May 26. <laughs> yeah. So my birthday was May 22nd. It just passed. Everyone made jokes about her coming on that day. I definitely didn't want that to happen. And we were thinking like the 23rd would be okay. Like as soon as we found out we were pregnant, we were thinking about. Oh, and then we knew that the due date was going to be in May. We uh, thought that the 23rd wouldn't be too bad. But like she said, for the past month now. Maybe a little over, she's been saying the 26th just been popping up in her head. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, mm -hmm. she started contractions on the 26th. Mm -hmm. And then it's not even at nighttime either, so we feel like she's really going to be here today. Yeah, like we still got all the night. So like, and the way that I feel, like the pressure and the way that my stomach is even changing, like it's, I feel like it's going to be tonight. We just wanted to give like a message to her before she gets here and before contractions got any more intense we, just, we don't know how long this is going to last she said it's a lot faster than it was with nayan she was contracting for three days with nayan so i'm, I'm getting one i think you need to go first baby girl i cannot wait to meet you and hold you earth side to be honest with you me and your mom we wasn't seeing eye to eye today but we were able to rekindle and reconnect and we had to knowing that you were on the way but you definitely forced us to put our childish immature behavior to the side and find peace and understanding that you are coming in divine timing, especially given that your mother had that date in mind. I just know that you're just going to be such an immaculate soul. You're going to change lives here on earth. You're, you're just sent here to be the peace and joy that we truly need because in the midst of us not wanting to see eye to eye, you force that to happen. So I just know you're going to be everything that I need to soften up, you know, and be the man that I want you to look up to. That was good. I am very excited to be a girl mom because honestly, I didn't think that like I would ever become a girl mom, especially um, like having a boy first. I'm glad that we, you know, had Nayan first because she will have a big brother to look up to and to protect her. But just. I, I just think like a lot of people want, you know, that little baby girl, that mini me. And the fact that I get to experience that, I'm so like thrilled and excited for that experience. I know that she's going to help me to grow into the woman that I want her to look up to and just change me and heal the little girl in me that didn't experience the things that she's going to experience as far as a two parent household and Jan. I'm so happy. And I can't wait for her to get here. I can't wait for the mommy daughter dates and the matching outfits and uh, just, yeah, I, I'm just so ready. And I know that she's going to be an amazing person. She's going to be like the missing piece to our puzzle because this is it. Like she is going to complete us and bring us together even more and just like make our family whole. And she's going to fit right in with her brother because her brother is already a star. And she's going to be a star as well. Yeah, we're a lot better prepared now. So, like, we, we wanted you first, but getting you second couldn't have been any better. This is a little message to my beautiful queen for the journey and the process that you just went through. I know that you brought my daughter here with the utmost power and strength to just the absolute best version of yourself that you could possibly be in this moment i know that you gave it your all i know that you are the queen that is necessary to raise our princess to be all that she's supposed to be 
I thank you for your sacrifice yet again. I thank you for committing to making this baby and also bringing this baby earthside at home with confidence at that. You're doing exactly what you're created to do, but you're also doing it with power. You're doing it with the most high coursing through your veins. I can't thank you enough. There's not anything that I could really do to amount to what you're going through and what you have went through, but understand that I will always be by your side and I'll make sure that I give our daughter everything that she deserves, you as well. And she's gonna see exactly what it means to be a queen and be treated like a queen. I love you. Thank you. She said they coming back to back now. Yes, I can feel it in my booty hole. I can feel like I gotta use the bathroom. Whew, it's like every minute now. It's not even like three minutes, five minutes. They like coming. And it's like a lot of pressure when they do. Like I said, I feel it in my butt hole. Well, the faster she get here, the better then. For real. Literally. Right, I mean, so we can go to sleep for the night. Like, just come no, on. And not even just that. We'll be able to spend time with her. Yeah. And then go to sleep with her. Yeah. Because the last time in the middle of the night, it was like draining. And then you just, yeah, I didn't like that. But she come right now. Let's catch her. <laughs> That'd be funny. Shout out to my dukes. We got the pre-made food for after birth already about to be uh, baked. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm insert the photo of like all the food she made, but like we are so grateful for that because- Got like six or seven different meals already made and you just gotta warm it up. Yes, perfect. Cause she really the chef. I would've had to just <laughs> make it do what it do, but definitely shout out to Madu. <laughs> Y'all, she says she feel like she got a push. They Mama. back to back. Contractions is back to back. And the pressure, like, is there. Like, it's like, it's there. The doula not here yet. The pool not here yet. <laughs> we still gonna get it done. Yeah. You still feel confident? Definitely. Okay. Currently bouncing on the ball. Well, not really bouncing, just like um, doing circles for real, for real. Cause I don't feel like bouncing. And yeah, they still coming back to back. And that pressure that I feel is there. I think I'm about to get one, but it ain't coming yet. But yeah, also like the difference between this this um, labor and Nyan labor is that with him, I had like extreme back labor. Ooh, babe, I got one, can you clear? Mm. That one is intense. But yeah, I had, I'm gonna try to talk through it. I had back labor, and this time it's like I feel it all in the front. I don't even feel anything in my back, which I'm grateful for because that back labor was hurting so freaking bad. Like I wanted somebody to like break my back. You about to have a baby girl. <laughs> I'm having a whole contraction. We are about to have a girl. Well, there's lightning. Let's do it. Okay, it went away. Yeah, so we about to have a baby girl. Like, oh my gracious. Like, oh my gosh, she really about to be here. You know? I was, oh, I can't wait. Baby girl. Oh, yeah. uh, I ain't show y'all the shirt. It's a shirt we had got around the time for him. What I'm actually wearing is the whole process this time. Tell them what they say. They say, home births are not black market. They are ancestral, spiritual, tradition, liberating, and sacred. Period. Breathe open. I could do anything for a minute. Oof. can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. My only job is to breathe and allow my baby to be born.
All right, y'all, so it's about nine o'clock. She's still contracting. She said they're more intense now. It's about 11.30 and the set is almost out. Oh, 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 oh,
First feet. Latch right away, huh? Just like your brother. Mm -hmm. Eyes open. I see that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you about to um, do the core burning ceremony? We're just going to burn the core instead of cutting it. Whew. Very ancestral. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so the doula just left, everything's cleaned up. It's now 405 in the in the rising. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go. It's my out. Now she got here at eleven thirty-five. Yeah. So we just now finishing up. And uh we have two children now. We have our baby girl. I'm so 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 happy. She is literally everything. She is a chunky baby. Like what? Nine pounds? Like nine pounds. <laughs> I did not think I could no nine pound baby, especially after the first being six. Like seven? Okay, but you nine pounds. Home birth number two. You're not new to this now, you're true to this. Yep, but I'm done with this. <laughs> All praises to the most high. She came out healthy. No complications. Mm -mm. Smooth, strong just lungs, it. smooth, just like we wanted. Mm -hmm. And quick, like when it came to pushing, she helped me push. Like she was like, like banging, like trying to get out at the same time. So I'm so grateful for that. I got my Gemini girl that came on the 26th, like Mama's intuition yeah. told her. Now we about to get some Z's and uh, be ready for these people tomorrow that's going to be pressed to see her. Mm -hmm. 
Alright y'all. Peace.